We're taking a little break from all of our travel planning here in Madison, and we stopped to grab some coffee at the Red Roaster, real popular spot here on uh, Main Street. I'm with Austin Sims, the executive director of the Madison Main Street program. And this is a super cute shop, first of all, and it's what part of a part of a thing that's going on in this area, kind of a themed thing. Yeah, uh, Red Roaster specifically is one of four other Red Restaurants in Madison. You have an incredible job because when you hit the approach into Madison, it is, business is open block after block after block after block, and these are incredible stores and restaurants and boutiques and apothecaries. Like, there's just so much happening. That must make you excited in this position that, you know, you have all this to brag about. Yeah, I mean, half of the time I'm like, slow down, uh, because I'm trying to keep up with you. Uh, I'm the only full-time staff person with Madison Main Street program. We have an assistant, we manage the local farmer's market, we have a manager that does that, um, and we have just a great team of volunteers. So trying to keep up with the 200 plus businesses downtown is a lot for me within the district. So I work a lot with our partners at the city and visit Madison at the chamber and things to help with my community outreach. So like backtracking even just a couple of years since you've been there, when do you think that things really started to take off and to change? You know, we have been talking about that a lot lately. Really, I think the last five years. For example, um, I moved back to Madison being a Madison native in the last five years. Um, and I was working another job, wanted to be more involved in the community. Uh, volunteering turned into, you should consider working with Madison Main Street and that really propelled, I think, what I'm supposed to be doing, um, just as a young adult, but also in my community. So within the last five years, I've seen a lot more openness from the businesses and I think from the residents just ready to have that oomph and that drive and that really embracing the pride that we all have about Madison being the best small town so in the Midwest, it's in the so, United States. It's so much pride yeah. and that's something that we're kind of blown away by is just how much excitement and just how proud people are uh, to talk to you and welcome you here. Um, we are kind of talking about this trip in terms of itineraries and so this right. could be one I love this like itinerary. So right. planning the guys and the girls trips and that is a thing here. People will plan their entire weekend around such a thing. You even had what a girls weekend recently? Yes. So this weekend was Girls Weekend. We just finished up yesterday. It's a three day long Girls Weekend. Ladies celebrate bring, being a woman, shopping, dancing, fun, all of the things right here in downtown Madison. So we have um, done themes. So this year we had 1980s. So we had the 80s ladies yeah. all throughout town. They're pink, they're purple, they're neon, everything. They were just tearing up Main Street. They had a great time from early morning yoga to a 1980s dance party to brunch to shopping, everything in between. Um, so Girls Weekend is really a really great time to take your, not just your girlfriends, but you know, your mom, your sisters, things like that, and just come to Madison and escape. Um, have a little bit of fun. You can also just relax. Everything in between, it's all right here during Girls Weekend. And it sounds like it's pretty easy to plan a trip around. Hey girls, we're going here. Hey, get the guys together for, you know, a party weekend as well. It, it sounds like it's easy to organize based on the different types of restaurants and venues that you have. Right, there's really something for everyone in Madison um, between the book lovers and our readers to the shoppers and fashionistas. I mean, even the collectors. We have so many people that love the history and the architecture in Madison and they love to come here and thrift um, and just enjoy everything that the shops have to offer. So that's where you could almost see some of the guys coming in. Yes. You know, we've we've had some ladies come for Girls Weekend and their partners have come with them too. So there's plenty of Plenty to do. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I understand this is the oldest Main Street in the nation? Yes, so we were one of three uh, pilot project with the National Trust originally in the 70s. Uh, it was launched in order to try and um, revitalize Main Street. So if you think back in the 70s, lots of box stores, large stores were coming into these small rural communities. Um, and really taking from that local economic driver of these entrepreneurs and small businesses. So the National Trust started this program, the Main Street program. And Madison being one of three has just really propelled us, I think, to where we are now. We've seen, we've seen it all. We've seen it all. We've seen the shops at their highest, at their lowest, and in between. And that's what my job is, and that's what's great, is I get to watch them, support them, and make sure that they're here for the next 40 years. All right, Austin, thank you so much for showing us around. Yeah, thank you all for being here. So to get started planning your next trip to Madison, go to visitmadison.org.
Coming up, we are planning your trip to Madison for the history lover, our top places to visit and explore.